in this section, um, chapter five, section three, I'm going to talk about parametric motion, um, which I'm going to show it with an example. It's pretty simple. Uh, sometimes in our system, we have more than one object, one, more than one part, and those parts are related to each other, like pulleys that we had in chapter three, if you remember, we had parametric motion over there too. And uh, these parts are related to each other, they are not independent from each other. And sometimes it is quite easy to find a geometric relationship between the parts. And if you figure out that geometric relationship and write it down as an equation and take a derivative of it and maybe two derivatives, you are going to be able to find relationship between velocities of the part, parts with each other or maybe the acceleration of them. How it works, for example, if you look at this problem, problem 23, chapter 5, here we have a piston, a hydraulic piston, which is fixed to the ground. The cylinder of it and uh, the shaft of it is moving upward with the constant velocity of v and we have another part a rod which is fixed to the ground at point o and is going to be able to rotate about point o and these two parts are related to each other through this uh, rotating uh, collar b so if I move this shaft upward, then this rod is going to be able to rotate, right? Now the question is this, if, if the velocity of this shaft is V, what's going to be the angle of velocity of OA? What is this omega? Or what is the theta dot? They are the same, right? That's the question. What is omega or what is theta dot? So uh, here we have two parts, as I said, the cylinder and also this rod. What is the geometric relationship between them? How you can relate this theta to the length of this one? When the length of this rod, this shaft is changing, it's moving upward, theta is gonna change, right? This is our input. This is what is changing. We are changing it. And this is the result. This is the output, right? What is the relationship between the, this input and that output? Which is very simple here. The relationship between theta and this length is going to be tangent of theta is equal to s over a constant number d, right? So let's write that, uh, write down that mathematical equation. Tangent of theta is equal to s divided by d. That's the math uh, geometric relationship between these two parameters, right? Now, if I take a derivative of this, you are going to be able to find the relationship between theta dot and s dot. And s dot is nothing more than v, right? v means how s is changing, the rate of change of s. So let me write that down too. I can write it here. v is equal to s dot. So if I take a derivative of this one, derivative of tangent, if you remember, is uh, tangent of x, for example. It's going to be 1 divided by cosine squared of x. Here we have theta, and theta is a function of time. We are taking derivative with respect to time. So the derivative of tangent of theta, using chain rule, is going to be theta dot divided by cosine squared of theta. And derivative of the other part, d is constant, it's not changing, so it's a constant number. s is varying with time, so the derivative of the right side of this equation is going to be s dot divided by d. And s dot means this velocity, right? So velocity divided by d. So from this equation, theta dot is going to be equal to v over d times cosine squared of theta. And theta dot is omega, the angular velocity of OA. 
So I can write it as omega or omega OA means angular velocity of rod OA is equal to velocity divided by D times cosine squared of theta. And if you want to write everything in terms of S and D, we can simply write cosine of theta is equal to S divided by length of OA. So let's actually do that too. So this is equal to V divided by D. Cosine squared is going to be S squared divided by OA squared. So it's going to be S squared. Oh, I'm sorry, D squared. My mistake. D squared by divided by O B squared and O B squared is uh, square roots of S squared plus D squared. Everything is squared. So omega O A is V times D. One of the D's is gonna cancel out. Divided by S squared plus D squared. 